Hi guys, today we'll be talking about yet another VPN provider, which is called the fastest VPN. How good this VPN is? Is it really that fast? Where is the fastest VPN located? This and other questions are going to be answered in detail during this review. Alright, let's get started. First of all, I haven't heard about the fastest VPN myself until just recently. The thing is, this company is among the youngest VPN providers and it was established 3 years ago, in September 2016. With that said, they are quickly catching up and shipping unusual features and appealing lifetime plans. I'll discuss the available offers later in this video. Now let's find out more details about this VPN provider. I am going to explain the features offered by FastestVPN first, then I'll demonstrate some of the speed tests I made with it during this week. So let's begin with the security and privacy. We are having pretty standard set of parameters here. The encryption for your connection channel is backed with the AES 256-bit algorithm, which is similar to any other VPN these days. Wi-Fi security feature provides a reliable defense against public hotspot attacks such as man in the middle or Wi-Fi snooping attacks. NAT firewall is something not every VPN service can offer, but the good news is fastest VPN has it on board for every customer. It's an important feature that protects your devices from the unintended incoming data. Internet kill switch is a must-have feature these days, and of course it is included in fastest VPN standalone application for every supported platform. Kill switch works by dropping your network connection in case of sudden VPN server failure. This mechanism makes sure you won't blow your cover. Fastest VPN allows you to choose among several security protocols, including L2TP, SSTP, TCP, UDP, and more. What about the distinctive features that will make you want to choose the fastest VPN? See for yourself. Fastest VPN offers 10 simultaneous connections. Yes, it is 10. Most of the respected VPN providers, such as ExpressVPN or NordVPN, can only boast of maximum of 6 devices connected at the same time. This is the main advantage of the fastest VPN. Another huge benefit of the fastest VPN is they provide you with 20 plus device support. This means fastest VPN offers a standalone application for Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, iOS, Xbox, Kodi, PS4 and others. Check the link in the description to get the full list of supported platforms. And this is not all. Fastest VPN also supports a lot of router models. That means you can install it on your wireless hotspot at home or in the office and take advantage of the unlimited devices connected to a VPN via router. One amazing offer from the Fastest VPN is you can get a Wi-Fi router from their website. This router comes with the VPN pre-installed and configured and is delivered to your door. Additional features from the Fastest VPN are the malware blocking which is implemented on their server side and suppression of the annoying ad pop-ups. This is just an amazing level of security and one of the best you can get these days. What about the available servers? How many locations are offered? Unfortunately, I must confess the downside of the fastest VPN is the amount of servers currently. They allow to choose from only 30 plus countries and servers. The good news is they offer 7 servers in the US and half of them offer surprisingly good speed for the price. What are the other drawbacks found in the fastest VPN? Well, they don't offer a split tunneling at the moment. This feature is offered by most of the premium VPNs and it allows you to choose which application connects to the web via the VPN and which one is directly connected. With that said, the absence of this feature may be a small or big disappointment depending on how you plan to use your VPN. Not having a split tunneling is not really a big deal for many of us. Now for the desktop app. I will demonstrate a Windows app here. The most distinctive trait of this provider is its UI is extremely simple. And the app is not overloaded with too many settings. This may be for good, as it becomes easier to use this VPN, since you don't need to configure anything. 
the only setting I would suggest you changing right from the beginning is the security protocol. The most recommended one is the TCP or a UDP. You'd better enable the internet kill switch as well and keep it on at all times. Now let's see what we have in the server selection list. As I mentioned before, FastSVPN provides 30 plus server locations with 7 servers available in the US. Ok, since we've discovered the main features and took a tour over the application, now let's have a look at the fastest VPN speed test results, so we could find out if this VPN conforms to its promising name. Here is the base speed of my connection without a VPN active. This is gonna be our base point of reference. As you can see, the download speed is 3890, the upload speed is 3485 and the ping is 7 milliseconds. Now let's see what speed we can achieve when connecting to various servers of the fastest VPN. We are going to start with the US servers. As you can see, we have two servers that demonstrate decent results. La Jolla and Florida servers are really fast, so my base speed is not reduced that much. Other three servers in the US drop my speed but still offer acceptable speeds. Only two of the US servers, namely New York and Atlanta, bring significant speed reduction. It's good to know that you can always choose the fastest server since you have 7 different ones. Now for the Europe. I've tested Italian, Polish, German and Finnish servers. You can observe the results on the screen. We have more than acceptable speeds here too. What about the most distant locations? Here you have the results for Japanese, Korean and Australian servers. With this test we can see that we have the lowest speeds for Australian and Asian servers. In fact, this is not surprising given the distance. After all, I am physically located at least 7 to 13,000 kilometers away from the servers. Now let's have a look into resulting speed test comparison table. What do you guys think about it? Is fastest VPN really the fastest one? I'd say definitely no. Is it fast enough? Absolutely yes. More on that, if we change the question a little bit, so it will be like follows. Is fastest VPN the fastest one for the price? Then the answer is clearly yes, for sure. To conclude, fastest VPN performed quite well with US Florida, US La Jolla, Poland, Germany and Finland servers. Slowest speeds are for Australian, Asian and South American servers. Now for the most interesting part. What about the pricing plans? I was positively surprised when I heard about the lifetime plan offered by this provider. They do give away their everlasting plan for as much as 80 bucks. Of course, this offer is not always available, but I made a short link you can use to check if this deal is still there. It can be located within the description down below. Any further pricing updates are gonna be displayed within the description as well. If you don't need a lifetime subscription, there's also a 5 year plan for 49 bucks. As far as I remember, it is an everlasting offer, but anyways you'd better check my link to see if they don't change the cost. Obviously you don't buy a lifetime subscription every day, so I suggest you testing this VPN for like 5 days or more, since the fastest VPN will refund you the full amount if you cancel account within 15 days money back period. Optionally there's also a monthly plan for 12 bucks if you want to test it completely risk free. I would also recommend you checking out the list of countries and several locations offered by the fastest VPN, to make sure your favorite locations you are going to be using are included. So just to conclude, in my opinion, fastest VPN is a good provider for the price, and the speed they offer is expected in this price range. Lifetime package is also a wonderful gift for anyone who wants to install a VPN and forget about monthly or annual payments forever. Amount of locations available is a bit disappointing, 
but most of the popular countries are covered. Split tunneling is not available, but they might include it in the future updates. The biggest advantages are 10 multiple connections, malware and adware protection, and 20 plus supported platforms. I hope this review was comprehensive enough and helps you decide if you want to get the fastest VPN or not. I suggest you checking my other videos about VPN providers on this channel too. Kindly leave your comments about the experience with this VPN provider and stay tuned for future videos. Thanks for watching.